Hey you guys, thank you for tuning in. Today I'm coming at you with another lock tutorial. I am doing the butterfly boho short locks. This is my first time doing these, so don't judge me. I thought that they came out cute. And I know some people been asking for this tutorial, so you know I had to get this out for my people, okay? So starting off, like I usually do, I'm plaiting my client's hair. If you haven't seen my previous videos of me doing soft locks and faux locks, make sure you go check those out before you watch this video. After you watch those, return back to this video so you can learn how I distress these locks. But most of this is self-explanatory, so I'm going to shut up. And when it comes to the locks, I will come back. I know a lot of people usually just use all of the water wave hair, but I can't do that. I feel like it's too loose, too silky. So I mix Cuban hair, twi hair, Cuban twist hair, uh, Cuban twist hair with it. I just split the Cuban twist hair in half because it's so thick and so tough. Even though I love the hair, it's it's really thick. So as you can see, I just put two of the water waves in a half. Of a Cuban twist 16 inch and I stuck that through the crochet needle like I said if you never seen me do this before go watch my other videos and here's where I get to the distress part first I'm gonna let you watch the distress part and then there's gonna be a slowed down version of this in the next clip and you will see how I do it step by step and I will explain it step by step This is the slow down part that I was talking about, you guys. So I'm about to show you how I wrap the hair around and how I make it distressed. I know a lot of people want to know how to do that. It's pretty easy. It's just a little thumb trick that you have to do. So I'm going to stick the crochet, the hair through the crochet needle into the braid like I usually do. And I'm going to have my client measure it out and make sure that it's similar like at a similar length 
as the other ones so once she does that then i will start twisting So I'm about to start wrapping right now and you're going to see this little thumb trick. So in this video, I have nails. This is actually the same day. Um, can y'all believe it? I'm filming and editing in one day and I took my nails off. So what you see me doing is I'm sticking my nail in between the hair that I was wrapping around and I'm keeping my nail, I'm keeping my nail through that loop until I wrap the hair fully around to the other side if that makes sense you can kind of see it it's really self-explanatory just keeping my finger in a piece of that hair <laughs> i'm really bad at explaining stuff but it makes it might not look like it makes like the little distressed look but like when you get done you really see the distressed look at first i was like what is this like this does not look right when I'm done with one lock, I just seal it off with nail glue. Any nail glue is fine. It works perfectly for me. I never had an issue with that. I don't know why people act like it's a big deal to use nail glue. It's not. It's not on her hair. Like, you can even crochet her braid into her braid to make sure it will not get on her hair. So, I'm about to get to the styling portion. I just wanted to add this in because I thought it would be cute and fun to do. So, first, I need to do her edges. I took... South Factor Edge Booster. I love this edge control. It is a lifesaver. It is everything and more. So you see me just swooping her edges and then I'm going to start styling it. I'm doing a half up half down. Half up half down two buns and another one with like some little bangs I guess you could say. Just the first little style i put a scrunchie in her hair just because i thought it would look cute i was like oh girl hold on let me put one of my scrunchies in your hair so this is the length she wanted you can go shorter you can go longer you can do it more like like a bob any way you want to still gonna be cute and here is the second style two buns this look crazy right now but i'm gonna get it together just gotta get some rubber bands
So this is the last style, I guess you could say. We did a little bit more off camera. I took a little bit more pictures off camera. But this is all I showed for the video. I thought it was good enough. I hope that you guys liked this video. And if you did and this was helpful to you, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up up and also comment and let me know that it was helpful i love getting those dms from you guys telling me like that your hair came out perfect alpha of watching my videos so keep those coming those just make my day honestly and i just want to thank you guys for watching me i appreciate it and i just love putting out content so i'm really excited for my next videos to come and yeah, her hair was cute. I kind of want these now.